Hello, Annie. Can you hear me? Yeah. All right. So, good evening, Annie. Good evening. Good evening. Can you hear me? Yeah. All right. So, good evening, Annie. How are you? I'm good. Oh, nice to hear that. Okay. Um, last Monday, it was a little unfortunate. We cannot. We did not finish our class because my internet was bad. I think my internet is good now, right? <laughs> so I think we can go back to a lesson. And we're going to continue our topic. And last time, we have talked about what do you want to be in the future, all right? And what is your answer again for that question, Annie? I want to be a What do you know? What do you call that? Fashion. Do you remember the terms? Fashion designer. Okay, can you say again the word? I want to be. I want to be a fashion Okay, good job. So let's continue our lesson now. And let me share my screen to you. Can you see my screen, Annie? Yeah. Okay, good job. All right. So as you can see that we have talked about what do you want to be in the future. And we talk about why it's difficult to be a fashion designer, right? And why it's difficult to be a fashion designer, Annie? What's your answer again? It's difficult because... Sorry, I cannot hear you. Okay, can you say, can you speak again? Annie? What? Okay, it's difficult to be a fashion designer because... Okay, do you remember this one, this word? Creative, one has to be creative. One has to be always creative. You know the term creative, Annie? Okay, uh, let me share my screen to you. Creative. Creative. Um, no, this one. Oh, I know. Right? Creative. What has yeah. to be creative? It's very difficult because you have to be creative, right? And why it's difficult to be creative, Annie? Why? Why it's why it's difficult to be creative? You have to be creative always, right? You have to produce new design. You have to be unique, right? You you know the term unique? 
unique. Unique designs, right? Or you say original designs, right? Do you know this term? Original designs, unique designs, right? So you always have to be that one and you have to be creative. Something that the world first time to see. You see, my, my clothes are, are the prints is very tribal. My t-shirt. It's very tribal. You know the term tribal. <laughs> you call this tribal design. Okay, my t-shirt is tribal design. Black and white tribal design. So you have to be creative. You have to be original with your ideas. That's why it's difficult to be a fashion designer. Right, Annie? Okay, so let's go back. Okay, we have here a grammar structure. We called it may and might. Okay, can you read this one? We. Usually. Okay. Okay. So, okay. For example, um, Annie, remember that you want to be a fashion designer in the future. Fashion designer. And talking about yourself, what do you think that you could do? So, for example, I might be come a fashion designer. <coughs> In the future. Okay. Can you read the sentence, Annie? I might become a fashion Okay, is this something that could be possible? Is this something that can be possible, Annie? Yes or no? It's possible. Is it possible for you to be a fashion designer? <coughs> possible to happen in the future. Ten years from now, Annie will draw designs. Do you think it's possible to happen to you? No. Oh, no. Then why do you want to be a fashion designer if you can't be a fashion designer in the future? Um. So we write here, I might not become... For that case, if it did not happen, then you say, I may, I might not become. Okay, can you see the difference, Annie? Yeah. Okay, I might not become a fashion designer in the future. Then perhaps it isn't true, right? So what could be, what is the might for you? I might Can you think of another sentence, Annie, that could be true? For example, I might pass the test tomorrow. Do you have exam, Annie? Do you have tests in school? Yeah. Right. Do you think you can pass the exam? You can pass the test? What do you think? What Sorry? What the word 
pass. Pass the test. You know the term now? Pass the test, meaning? Sorry. Did it help the word pass? Um, or you, you got a high score. Okay, for example, you got a high score. You got high score in the test. Okay? For example, it's over 100. You got score 50 over 100. Is this passing? Is this passing grade? Annie, 50 over 100, if it's your score? Oh, I see. Okay. They know the term grades. Do you know the term grades? Yeah. And do you know 100%? Yeah. Okay. In school, sometimes you get A or B+. Plus. Is this how you get scores? Any or A minus? Is this how you get the scores? No. Okay, how? 100 like this? You're going to have scores of 90. Sorry? 10, like this, 10. 10. Right? For example, you got 10 over 10, Annie. You got a grade of 100%, right? And if your score is 50, over 100, what is your, sorry, 50 over 10, what is your, sorry, 5 over 10, you got 5 over 10, what is your score? What would be your grade if you got 5 out of 10 questions? You got 5 correct answers out of 10. Questions. You got 50%, right? Okay, this one, you call it grades. Okay, Annie? You call it grades. And if you got score above 50, you pass the test, right? You pass the test. Pass the test. Okay? Do you understand now? Okay. Pass the test. And you can say, I might pass the test tomorrow. Do you think, is this possible? Is it possible for you to pass the test? What do you think, Annie? Yeah. Is it? Yes, right? Yes. It's possible, right? Because why it's possible? Why is it possible? Why is it possible, Annie? Because... I always study, right? Yeah. Because you're always studying, it's possible for you to pass the test because you know what to answer, right? Because I always study, I may know what the answers for the test. You see? So, I may know the answer for the test. 
we have the word may because we're not sure yet. We are not yet sure, right? You are not yet sure that you can pass the test, but you know that I may pass the test. Why is it possibility? Why is this a possibility, Annie? Because it's not yet happening. Okay? Possibility because it's not yet happening. Do you understand, Annie? Annie, do you understand me? Hello? Annie? <laughs> do you understand me, Annie? A little. A little, okay. For example, what are you going to do tomorrow, Annie? Sorry. Okay, go to school. And what do you think could happen in school tomorrow? What do you think could happen in school tomorrow, Annie? No. You don't know, but what do you guess? What do you guess? What could happen tomorrow in school? Maybe. So we can have the word maybe, right? Maybe. Our teacher might give us quiz. Is this possible? A quiz. Do you think it's possible? Our teacher might give us a quiz. No. Is this possible? No? Do you understand the word quiz? Quiz. Do you know the word quiz? No. Sorry? Or you can say our teacher might call me to read the story. For example, just example, right? Could happen. Do you think it this thing could happen that the teacher may call you to read the story in front? Yeah, I, you think so, right? So, that's why we call it possibility, right? It's not yet true. It's not true yet. But it could be true tomorrow. So, do you understand, Annie? That's why we use the word might, okay? You understand? Or you can also use the word, our teacher may call me to read the story. Okay, understand, Annie? So, those things are possibility, all right? Possibility. What do you think would happen in school tomorrow? Our teacher may call me to read or might call me to read the story, okay? So, those are the things that could happen. Just like this, I might pass the test tomorrow or the pass the test next time, right? Okay. Do you understand any now? Going back. What if it will not happen tomorrow? Then you say I'm it may not or it might not. Okay? For example, your mother. What do you think is your mother doing now? What do you think is your mother doing? What? what do you think? 
what do you think is your mother doing right now? Don't look, don't look, don't look. <laughs> Just guess, guess, guess. Okay, so you have to write the word might. My mother might. Playing. Might be playing with my baby. Or your sister with my sister? No, brother. Ah, oh, sorry. <laughs> baby brother. All right, sorry. Okay. So do you know, do you understand what's, what is the use of might? Annie? So you have to use the word might because you're not sure, but it could be, right? Understand, Annie? Yeah. Okay, my mother might be playing with my brother. So we put here now, okay? Next, what do you think is your father doing? Okay, that's great, right? Your father might be taking shower. Good job. Okay, good job. Give me a high five. All right. So you understand now, right? The word might. Okay. So you guess. So that's why we use the word possibility. All right. Okay, Annie, you get this one already? Yes. Okay, good job. Okay, let's go to the next part. Okay, we're going to do listening here. Okay, and the question here, what might Sam be one day? What might Sam be one day? Okay, are you ready to listen now? Okay, so let's start and tell me if you can hear it, okay? 47A. Can you hear it? I will or okay. perhaps I won't. What might Sam be one day? What? Are you okay, so listen to this one and we're going to answer it. Okay, Annie? Yeah. Okay, good job. You want to be, Sam, a dentist? No. I don't want to be a dentist. I'm sure about that. I won't be a dentist. I think that's a boring job. An engineer? Mm, no. I might be an ambulance driver, but that's a difficult job. A journalist? I may be a journalist because that's an interesting job. Or a teacher? Wow, yes. That's a great job. Annie, we're going to listen for one more time, okay? No. Sorry? No. We're going to listen for one more time, okay? Or do you want to answer now? Oh, okay. You want to answer now. Sure. Okay, number two. Can you give the answers? Can you read the sentence, then give the answer? <laughs> okay, let's listen again. All right. So write. If you cannot remember, you can just write. Okay, Annie? 47A. I will or perhaps I won't. What might Sam be one day? What do you want to be, Sam? A dentist? No, I don't want to be a dentist. I'm sure about that. 
I won't be a dentist. I think that's a boring job. An engineer? Hmm. No. I might be an ambulance driver, but that's a difficult job. A journalist. I may be a journalist because that's an interesting job. Or a teacher? Wow! Yes, that's a great job. All right, so that's the end, Annie. Do you have answers already? That's good. So Sam might be an ambulance driver, but that's a difficult job. Number three. Very good. That's interesting job. And lastly, number four. Says a teacher. Can you say again? Some says you say says. You pronounce this one says. Okay, that's a great job, right? Okay, Annie, can you can you try to spell to me the word journalist? Can you spell the word journalist? Mm -hmm. All right. Sorry. Like this. O? I -S -T. No, L. L I S T. Journalist? Like this? Okay, this. All right, the spelling of journalist is J O U R N A L I S T. Journalist. Can you can you spell to me again the word journalist? A L I S T journalist. All right, good. Do you know what is a journalist? What? Sorry? One, one day, my, I, mom, my mom tell me this one. Oh, okay. Well, journalists are mostly news. Of, okay, let's just try to check out. Journalist. Oh, almost the same as your name, right? Bao? Okay. <laughs> yeah, Bao. Okay. Journalist. A person who writes for newspapers, magazines, news websites, or prepares news to be broadcast. Can you read the meaning, Annie? The person who writes for newspapers, magazines, or news websites, or prepares news to be Broadcast. 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 
Okay, broadcast. Broadcast. For example, journalist. Okay, this one is the journalist, right? They are news reporters, right? They are writers, news reporters, right? And what some said, sorry. Okay, what did Sam says? What did Sam said about the journalist? It's on. Okay, do you also find it interesting, Annie? Do you find being journalist is an interesting job? Do you think is it? Do you think it no. is an interest? No. Why? Why? Um, I think it's uh, boring and beautiful. Boring and sorry, what's your word? Boring and beautiful. Difficult. Yeah. Why do you think it's boring and difficult? Sorry, sorry. What is it again? Uh -huh. mm, yeah, so it's boring, right? If you're going to write and write always. Oh, I see. I see, yeah, that could be um yeah, that could be true for some time, right? That you have to write always. Mm -hmm. It's quite sorry. <laughs> All right, uh, next one. Sam says he will be a teacher and he said that's a really great that's a really great job. Okay, Annie. Do you consider being a teacher in the future? What? Do you consider yourself becoming a teacher in the future? I said a teacher. Sorry. I said a teacher. Sorry, what's your answer? I thought I. I don't understand. Ah, you don't understand. Do you consider yourself becoming a teacher in the future? Maybe. Maybe. Oh, maybe. Why? Because. Yeah, you could be an English teacher. Yeah, that. So I might become an English teacher in the future. Right? So I might become an English teacher in the future. Is this correct? Yeah. All right. That's true. If you can speak English very well, then you could teach other Vietnamese students to speak English as well, right? So good job. And what Sam said, what did Sam say about being a teacher? What did he say? Good, as in G-O-O-D? Good? No, great. Great. Do you think it's a great job? Why? Why do you think so? It's a great job. Why do you think being a teacher is a great job? Because, uh, 
I have a example of a teacher. I teach a many people and my baby brother. So, so people is is um. Sorry, what I is it again? Mm -hmm. I teach my baby brother and when mm -hmm. my baby brother is grow up, mm -hmm. my baby brother is not like me. Mm, okay, so it's really great, right? To be um, so that they can be smart kids in the future, right? So. They, uh, they have a lot of potential. You know the word potential? Potential to be great. Okay? Students have potential to be great. Okay? You are teaching them how to be smart. Potentials. Okay, students have the potential to be great. So they could be smart, intelligent, hardworking, right? In the future. Oh, no, not hardware. <laughs> okay. All right, Annie, do you have questions so far about this one? Let's go to the next part then. Good job, good job. Because great job. Okay, uh, let's read this audio script. Um, I will be the father and you will be Sam Annie. Okay. What do you want to be, Sam? A dentist? No, I don't want to be a dentist. I'm sure about that. I will be a dentist. I think that's a boring job. An engineer. No, I might be an ambulance driver, but that's a difficult job. A journalist? I may be a journalist because, because that's an interesting job. Or a teacher. Well, yes, that's a great job. Okay, good job, Annie. Give me a high five. Reading it good. Okay, so keep it up. Reading slowly and that way. Okay, good job, Annie. Okay, what are these children thinking? What do you think? This boy. I think the boy is thinking. The boy is what the uh girl or what sorry, what is it? Singer. Singer. Or this uh or doctor. Okay, so the mud. So can you can you say the sentence? The boy. The boy. Might. Might have to be a singer. Okay, might be a singer. Okay, the boy could be a singer, or the boy might be come a singer in the future. What about this one? The boy. A boy might be a doctor. Right, might be a doctor. What about this girl? A girl might be a astronaut. Astronaut, okay, astronaut. Do you think of becoming an astronaut, Annie? Me? Yeah? 
Did you dream of going out of the space? I think this job is dangerous with me. Oh, very, yeah, that's true. It's very dangerous, definitely. Do you know that if you're out of the space, you're going to float? You're going to fly? You're going to float? That is really exciting. Exciting, right? Exciting. So, astronaut. Let's try to look for astronaut. Okay, they are floating. Yeah. Floating. Yeah, so, they are, no, not floating. Okay. So they are floating. They are yeah. flying like so. So if we're going to look um, astronauts, it's how are they eating? Look how, how are they eating, Rip? Look on how are they eating. The food is floating, right? <laughs> the food is also floating, right? So it's very difficult to eat, right? Yeah. When, when I drink water. Okay, that's why they usually put it like in a like a toothpaste, you know, like a toothpaste, um, of container. So they're just going to squeeze the food. So that's how they do it. Some some astronauts. So they're just going to squeeze it. Yeah. So that's crazy, right? They're going to eat floating, right? So it's very difficult to be astronaut, but it's exciting, right? Very exciting to be an astronaut, all right? And you have to be very, very smart. You have to be very, very smart to be astronaut, right? So you have to be good in mathematics and science. Are you good in mathematics and science? Little. Little, astronaut yeah. Astronaut and space mm -hmm. rocket. Yeah, can make a rocket, yeah? Yeah, definitely, because they're going out of the Earth. They're going out of the Earth. Some will go to the moon, and some will go to the other planets, all right? That is dangerous when if we let to the sun. Yes, if you're near to the sun, if you're exposed to the sun, you'll be dead immediately, yeah. right? You might be you might die. Very dangerous. So the astronauts might die if they are not careful. The astronauts That's might so die. Sorry. Yeah, that's right. There are, there are many that's right. So they have to be careful and they really study hard. They really study hard so that the danger could lessen. So that the danger could lessen because they know what to do, right? So they have to study really, really hard. Okay. Astronaut is really, really, really smart. Okay, yeah, you have to be really smart so that you could go out of the earth, right? And right. I think this part is smart. Sorry, it, it's. And I think this part is. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Okay, it's better to be singer, right? <laughs> it's better to be a it's singer. It's so easy. It's also to not be easy. A singer. It's not easy. Why? Why it's not it easy to be a singer? Just like me, I, uh, when I, uh, six years old, I. Sing English songs. Oh, you sing English songs when you're six years old? Yeah. What songs do you sing when you're six years old? Uh, uh, twinkle, twinkle. I still, yeah. <laughs> I still you don't remember London Bridge? Maybe you know London Bridge? Okay, so it's not easy but to sing. Now, mm -hmm. I, I sing a song, a famous singer is Sing This Song. Sorry, what song? What song is that? 
What song is that? When that party that died singing. Died singing? She died singing? What? Sorry, what did you say? Who is the famous singer that you say? Like Billy Eilish. Billy, oh, Billy Eilish, right? Uh, you said that one before. You like Billy Eilish, right? He, he is a fan surprise. Okay, uh, let's try to the Bailey Eilish. I like her hair. Oh, yeah, her hair is very unique. <laughs> you like to have this kind of hair, color green in the middle? Oh. Then black? Her nails. Her nails, very long, right? Whoa. Yeah. Okay. So Bailey Eilish. Bailey Eilish. Very um what do you okay, what do you call about Bailey Eilish style? Um she is very oh what do you call that? Um aesthetic. Um she is a little bit crazy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's very stylish. Very stylish, right? Very stylish. Do you know the word stylish? Yeah, I know. Okay. So she is very stylish. Okay. Whoa. And the music is very good, right? Lo-fi. The beat are so good. But sometimes scary. Wow. Why is the eyes like this? It's all white. <laughs> okay. The eyes are quite scary. And the nose. Like a Sorry, she's like a, a rock star. Yeah, she likes a rock star. Or you can call it emo. You know emo? Okay, you say emo. Emo. Okay, emo. You call it emo. Of course, not this picture, but you know, most emos are look like this. Emo. Okay? So that's why emo or okay, they call it alt. Really, Alice, they call it alt. So I don't know what to say, but they have different terms for that. Okay, let's try to check for alt. No, not this one. <laughs> All right, so it could be emo. You know the meaning of emo? Emotional, like that, emotional. That's why they call it emo. All right? Okay, ah, going... I know. I uh, like emo, right? Emo. Okay, so that's why you call it emo. Like that. Emo looks like this. Like a rock star, but they are always black, wearing black. Um, always sad. Okay? Sometimes like that. I think, I think Billie Eilish... As like an emo style, like emo Billie Eilish. You see, she looks like emo as well, right? Look on her eyes, she looks emo. Okay, and she is very expressive. She is very expressive. All right, she expressed so much of herself. She does not care. She doesn't care what she look like, right? What she looks like. She doesn't care what she looks like, right? She look right. Sorry, this one. What she looks right looks like. Okay. She doesn't care what she looks like. Okay. Going back now. Yeah. Of course. Then they ask, "What about you?" All right, before you say, I might be a fashion designer. That's one. Second, you say, I might be a teacher, right? So that's two. Can you think of another two things that you could be in the future? Aside from being a fashion designer and a teacher, what you could, what could you be? Teacher. Sorry? Teacher. 
What's the word? Yeah. Sorry, fashion teacher. Fashion designer. This one is a teacher. What else? Paper. Business? No, paper. Can you spell it to me? T-A-I-N-E-R. T-E-R. Like this? Yeah. Okay. Oh, do you paint, Annie? Do you paint? Yeah. Oh, I see. So you, I might be a painter. Wow. So you must be good in arts. You must be good in arts. Okay. I see. What else? Might Hello, Annie, can you hear me? Ah. Uh, Sorry. What's the what's the spelling? Can you spell it out? What N O E N not N M M O D L E You mean this one model? Yeah. <laughs> okay. You spell it M O D E L, okay? So model. All right, so we try. Model. But there are different types of model, Annie. You could be a runway model, meaning you're going to walk here. You call this one runway model or Oh, what's uh, what's it called? The uh, other one. Um, <laughs> um, the other one is um, uh, portrait model. So they call it portrait. Okay. So it could be pictures for pictures, right? Um, print model. They called it print model, okay? Yeah. So for cameras. So the one is runway, you're going to walk. Print model, you're going to do to poses in the screen. Which one do you like? Print or runway? Runway. Oh, you like to be runway. Then most models have to be tall. Do you think you will be tall in the future? Yeah. <laughs> so you might be tall in the future. All right. Good job, Annie. Thank you very much for coming to class. We are already oh much time very extended. It's already. <laughs> Sorry, Annie. I have to end the class now. Okay. See you. See you next um Saturday, Annie. Okay. Hope you enjoy the and see you Saturday, Annie. Bye bye now. <laughs>